all right what is good people long time no see but we're back because we are finally we are finally getting there today we have just received the teaser for season two of the breakers long time coming you know we all been dying to get something on it right and i want to start off by saying they did my boy raditz dirty <laughs> they did my boy raditz dirty but we we kind of half expected this right they, they, raditz has never really gotten any love also this game likes to do goofy shit so age one is a cyberman <laughs> it, it is a cyberman which pretty funny in its own regards but rip my boy raditz uh and then of course we're going to Napa, and then from there you go into Vegeta, and then you go into Great Ape. That said though, Cyberman looks interesting. It looks like it's gonna have like a, I guess you can either dig through the ground or hide in the ground. Nice little range attack. We'll we'll see how it fares, right? Because you know a lot of, a lot of survivors now have gotten more confidence to fight level ones, so we'll see. Now level two, my boy Napa there looking pretty, looking pretty nice. But yeah, he's gonna look pretty fun to play. Uh, obviously, there's gonna be no key tracking because they didn't know how to key track when they. Yeah, I, mean, I guess maybe Napa could plant Cybermans to kind of work like a Zarbon Dodoria sort of deal. But it seems like you're gonna be using the Scouter on them, which is gonna be interesting because not a lot of people use Scouter on Frieza for say, and not a lot of people use the Scouter item in general. So a lot of people are gonna actually have to like get used to that. My hope though is that you can actually move and use it because that was the main thing I don't like about the Scouter is that you're locked into place when using it. From the trailer that we've seen, uh, Nappa's getting his ass beat, so I'm assuming the evolution will be Frieza-like in that regard. I'm assuming like the Cyberman just needs to get a kill, because he full-on explodes, right? So I guess he needs one kill to get it. I don't know how Sivs are going to work with the Cyberman, but for Nappa, they specifically showing him getting his ass beat by like the whole fucking team, which realistically is going to happen in the game. Cause it, it seems like it's either going to be frieza S where you, as you get hit, it's going to go up. Or, from what I initially thought, maybe you have to fully die as Nappa to get the next evolution. Which would, seems, would seem a little bit annoying to do. Unless they gave him like really low health or something. But I'm just going to go out and live and say it's like Frieza's evolution of just getting hit, right? And then from that, Vegeta looks, <laughs> Vegeta looks annoying. That key barrage shit looks like it's going to fucking suck in a... <laughs> When you have to like 1v1 him. But he he does look kind of locked into place when he does it. So probably not that bad. And then, you know, obviously he goes into the uh, first opening mix. Becomes Great Ape. Great Ape, I'm surprised they actually... I'm surprised they actually went giant. I'm not going to lie. I fully expected them to cop out of the giant thing. And just make him just like the size of a regular raider. But he's ape mode. Like, <laughs> So kudos to them for going with it. We'll see how it like functions. Like obviously it was made for the new map. Which, for those, it took me a while to realize in the trailer that that was the new map because it looks very similar to the Cell Games map. But what it is, it's it's Rocky Field is the name. It's that big wasteland you see in the city. It's again very similar to the Cell Games map, sort of with that rocky area. But it's like obviously minus the annoying mushroom area, and then on the other side you see like a little Namek area. So it's kind of like a fusion of that and the and Green Coast, since from what it looks like. So that'd be interesting to play on. Obviously, it looks like it's going to be a lot wider to accommodate for Giant. Um, we'll see how Giant works on the on the uh, other maps. I don't know how he's going to function with... I don't think he's going to be able to go into caves at all. So if there's like a Dragon Ball... So I, I feel like stashing Dragon Balls in like a cave when Great Ape is up might be viable or something. Like, <laughs> how the fuck are you going to fit in that shit, right? And then meanwhile, uh, looking at his attacks, he's going to have some... Like, he had like a stomp which hit King Furry with uh pretty far away. I'm assuming you're gonna have to jump it to dodge it, but like he he looks like he's gonna have some pretty fucking annoying attacks. But obviously to accommodate for the fact he's probably gonna be big and potentially slow. But again, this this is like a new thing and while I get it, no fucking game has fully done a playable giant since like Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Right? Like obviously they have like giant they have like giants and as like an enemy in some Dragon Ball games, but it's been a long time since we had that playable, so it'll be interesting to see if they do it right and if they do it well. Alright. 
And now on to the survivor skit. Then there's other survivor stuff. Uh, right off the bat, we you see Chi Chi with the Boncho fan that was in the data mines a while back. Boncho fan looks hella annoying. I ain't gonna lie. That shit probably about to have a long cooldown or something. But the knockback on that looked ridiculous. But I'm for it though. So like I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little disclaimer that like I'm a little annoyed with how survivor skills are going right now. Like in, I feel like energy field was very I'm not fully annoyed actually. So I like I like things like double jump and sprint. I think those are like great tools to give survivors. Energy field to me was the most like ridiculous shit that could add it to the game. It was just better it's better wall of D that has like no downside whatsoever. You can use it offensively because you can just run out the raider and knock them back with it. Defensively, you're obviously vulnerable for a long ass time. And you can use mobility with it, which is ridiculous to me that you can even pair it with other that you can even use other shit during it, right? Like because you can already like move around with it. But on top of that, the main like as annoying as it is, the most annoying thing though about it is that these constantly power crep like abilities and skills and shit are locked behind a fucking like 0.05% drop rate from a shitty gotcha that I don't feel rewarded throwing money into because there is no pity system and there is no like good like incentives like for me to throw money at it right it's like hey you don't have this big you don't have this big stupid s tier skill give us money lose it right <laughs> or grind out 50 million games a day and like yeah so i mean they're giving these tickets out now like so it looks like going by the fact that they did it with the with the raider or like the villain bundle as well we're getting like these little tickets to give a guaranteed thing like every like now and then but still like i don't know the gotcha system i season two i'm really hoping the gotcha systems rework otherwise i it's we're gonna keep running through the same we're gonna get to the point we're gonna get to those like cool ass like gogeta vegeto skills and that everyone's gonna want and it's like you're gonna be throwing like fucking five thousand dollars just to get them in this fucking like cash grab of a fucking game like <laughs> but you know i'm getting off topic well that's a discussion for another time back into it chi chi there bancho found uh they didn't really show anything else with her, so I guess she's just only gonna have Boncho fans. Uh, we'll, we'll see though, because you know I'm going off of like you know Bulma and Oolong. They came out like two skills and stuff, but uh, the, for all they showed to the front that I saw was Boncho. There could be more. But we'll, we'll see as it comes out. She will be available for TP tokens. I forgot to also mention Vegeta. You need TP tokens to buy as well. This is their like. This is pretty much their DLC. So prepare to spend money. Uh, it, King Furry. He is the he is going to be the battle pass character. That orbital strike looks pretty fucking cool. I ain't gonna lie. I, I can already see people using that just to deny um deny finishes, right? So not much there, just orbital strike looks really cool. I like seeing skills like that. I like seeing off offensive skills. I I feel like that's what Survivor needs more. I, I want to see more offensive power and less um less like um invuln shit. I miss I miss early these I miss like beta and early season one combat honestly like I I, I miss like the fucking you know the thrill of it like I mean like it's a Dragon Ball game at the end of the day yeah, everyone wants to throw some hands you know and then we got Yajirobe we didn't see any skills he was the last little like like zing in the trailer you know what I mean but he's gonna be also be available for TP tokens so you'll be able to play him right away so that's the whole season two package there more content gonna also be at it so you know obviously the rocky field map will be free don't need to buy a map thankfully uh new customization new customization items we're getting gt clothes gt goku gi uh, gt trunks full outfit grandpa and then grandpa gohan mask and then a cyberman plushie i imagine a lot of like yamcha cosplayers are gonna rock that shit on the back and then two new transfers. I honestly expected more, but uh, I'm assuming a new banner is gonna come with this. But maybe there, is, maybe it is more. But they're just showcasing these two ones: Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Team Gohan. What skills they'll bring? I don't know. Uh, well, we saw the instant transmit. I forgot to talk about instant transmission. That's probably coming with this new transfer. 
we're bound to get it. It was bound to get something like that sooner or later. I worry for it. Like it's gonna be like interesting at the start, but I worry for the longevity of that skill because you know co big coordinated high level comps of survivors are going to like I don't want to say abuse it, but they're gonna use it very well, right? They're going to they're going to rush the Dragon Balls. They're gonna have a homie post up at the fucking altar, and then boom, they're at it. Like <laughs> I'm assuming it's going to have a long cooldown in itself, but like. Proper utilization of it is going to be crazy. Obviously, like, like they honestly expect wishes to be speed ran. That's the case. If w wishes are going to get speed ran, raiders are going to get shit on, and then you know, Dimps is going to look at those numbers and then uh, give Raider another ridiculous ass buff like the Cell Evolution. We'll uh, we'll see how the meta game with that goes. Overall, excited stuff. Exciting stuff. Season two coming. I just hope there's also a massive balance patch with it. Uh, I, I think I'm game. A lot of the game needs a lot of shifting right now. Me personally, if there isn't a like massive balance patch, I don't know how long I'll stick with season two. But obviously, you know, the cell, the previous cell buff back in December was way over the top, not needed. If they wanted to help him out, they could have gave him literally anything else, like a faster finisher or I don't know. But he, he needs to need that. Yeah. Frieza hasn't been touched in beta. Frieza is still the most like obnoxious fucking raider on the planet. Uh, so, like cells evolving way too fucking fast for the game state. Boo! I just want I just really want them to relocate some of his power. They need to like nerf Super and Kid Boo a bit, and then give some of that power back to Spopovich. Not not necessarily pre-nerf Spopovich, because pre-nerf Spopo was busted. He was he was a better level one freezer. There's no reason for that to ever be a thing. Now like they over nerfed his shit. Now he's like struggles to get things like if they don't want to give him his power back, they need to at least lower the amount needed because four sieves is a little much. But you know to compensate, I'm not saying like make boo OP. I'm saying let's nerf late game boo and give it to early game boo a bit, honestly. Like at least Spopo, right? At least Spopo. Because with people, people better at the game now, they're taking advantage of the fact that Spopo is weak, which, you know, as you should. But as game devs, they should realize, hey, we're over buffing and we're over nerfing shit. <laughs> but yeah. And then uh, I, I want to I want to see other supers get some love and like it's it gets so boring seeing using and seeing Super electric, double buster, and special beam cannon all the time. Like, it, fuck's sake, all these supers getting added to the game, it doesn't fucking matter because none of them are worth a damn to use other than these three, right? Like, <laughs> I like, like, please, Bandai Dimps, whatever janitor's working on the game, please just fucking tone those down a bit and then buff the other supers. I want to see variety in this game. Is that too much that I want to see some fucking variety? But that's all I that's all for now. That's all I want to talk about. I will be streaming season two. So uh be sure to check out the Twitch channel for that. You can come catch me uh malding live on that shit. I'll be playing that. Uh I'll also be playing for anyone interested in Yu-Gi-Oh! I should be playing some Master Duel here also. Uh so be sure to check that out. Uh you know the Twitch channel, link below. And uh I'll see you.